So I'm going to be upgrading the lights today. Um, I've already done the front cab and I showed you in another video how to uh, get that out of there. Basically it just pops out of there. Um, I didn't figure I need to change the actual light bulb. But as you can see the difference between the front and the back is basically night and day. You've got a yellowish light in the back here and a nice bright white in the front. So I'm assuming by changing that it's going to make the back look a lot better. There's also one by the back door when you open the back door it comes on. Show you how to remove this one. One thing you've got to note on this one is the back of the unit actually has a hot wire exposed on it. So when you're putting it back in, if you're not careful, you will ground it to the frame and you'll either pop a fuse or blow your bulb or possibly give yourself a little zap. Um, so as soon as I pop it out of there, I'll show you how to do that and uh, keep from shortening it out. Now before I remove this, the one thing I want to do, I want to turn it off for a little while because basically that gets hot. So I'm going to turn it off, let it sit there for about five minutes to cool off and then we'll unhook it. So removing this is very similar to the front. Uh, again, if you need a body tool, you can slide a plastic body tool under there. The clip is on the left and the right hand side. I'm just going to pull straight out on the fixture and it pops off. Now, what I was telling you before, which makes no sense to me, this hot wire is going into this middle conductor right here. This is hot all the time. If you're putting this back in and you touch this piece to this metal, you will arc it out and you will see some sparks flying. So you can either disconnect your battery or you can take the fuse out or just be super careful when you put this back in to not ground this piece of metal to this metal frame. Um, why Dodge designed it this way, I have absolutely no clue. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's the way it is. So to get the bulb out, you pull this little metal clip back to you. This little piece comes out. Again, if this has been on recently at all, do not touch it. It is hot. It will burn your fingers. Since it was only on for a few seconds, I'm still going to take a towel and wrap the bulb up just to keep me from burning my fingers. To get the bulb out, this is just kind of spring loaded in here. You can push down a little bit on the top of the bottom to release a little tension and the bulb just pops out. Now the front bulbs and the back bulbs are different sizes. The front bulb is a 36 millimeter, the back bulb is a 42 millimeter. So when you're ordering these, I got this door cam. Uh, they all have decent reviews. Some have good, some have bad. Um, they all come from probably the same plant in China, so it doesn't matter which one you get it from. Uh, you're probably gonna get the same bulb. So when you go to put this back in, same as when you took out, you just gotta remember that if your chiclets are facing towards you, it's the wrong way because you're actually looking at the back of the fixture. So I'm going to push down a little bit, lifting up on the top, pushing down on the bottom, and it just drops right back into place. You can test it first, flip the switch on, flip it off so I know it's working. And again, when I put this back in here, do not touch the metal to the metal. So before you pop this back in, remember to put your cover back on. So it goes in one way, if I can remember which way it went. Once the cover snapped in, protect it. Again, do not touch this to this. I'll line it up straight. Carefully line it up, pop straight in. So this one's a little bit tighter. I'm gonna use a plastic body tool on this. I'm trying to scratch my paint up too bad. Basically, once I get it started, it'll be the same thing. I can clip that in there now. And I'll pull my two sides down with another tool. Side down. And then it pops out. So essentially the same design. Basically, if you touch this metal piece, you can see the hot wires going in the middle. This little metal bar right here touches anything on here. It's going to arc and spark, so don't touch it on anything. I'll take my little clip. This retainer is a little different. And it's a completely different bulb in there. Surprise, surprise. So I'm not even sure what that bulb is. So the voltage is going to be 12 volts on this. Comparing the LED to the OEM, the sides are the same. They're both 42 millimeter. I'm assuming they use the bigger bulb back here just to give it a little bit more brightness. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this one in. Just in the meantime, if I need to replace it later, I will. So same thing, pushing down a little bit on the spring. And pushing up a little bit on this spring. And if I don't do that, It'll clamp right in there. So start it there. Start it there. Light on. 
So I can probably find anything that's 42 millimeter that has more chiclets in it and make it a little bit brighter. But we'll see what this one looks like. So again, when you're putting this in, you want to go straight up and in. It just pops in. And that's all there is to it. So the back two bulbs were $9. The front two bulbs were, I think, $7. So for 15 bucks and about five minutes worth of work, uh, your lighting package will get a whole lot better.